Well, the financial meltdown may have been a surprise to so many, but at least one man was warning us of what was ahead long before things actually came tumbling down. Gerald Salenti is the director of the Trends Research Institute, and he joins me now uh, live in New York. Mr. Salenti, are you there? All right, we will probably come back to him. He has a lot of good stuff to say because he certainly, oh, Mr. Salenti, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. Well, even before Americans saw signs of this impending financial meltdown, you were out there waving the flags, warning, hey, this is coming, and it's going to be bad. So who, in your opinion, is to blame for the bulk of it? Well, there's no question about it. As I've said often, if the names on Wall Street were named Salenti, Caruso, Mondavi, Puccini, Rossini, they'd call it the mafia. It's the financial mafia. This is a show. I mean, give me a break with this. This is nothing but jive talk coming from Washington. What are they going to do? They're talking about the money that they're going to get back from the taxpayers by putting a $90 billion 10-year uh, repayment program tax on the banks. Now, that's 10, 10 of the top banks and financial groups this year are going to divvy up about what they're going to be paying back over 10 years, just in one year. This is chump change. You know, they've just passed a bill, H.R. 4173. They're guaranteeing these banks this year in 2010 $4 trillion. That means that these banks can go out like they're doing and keep playing these games, and no matter whether they win or lose, their bets are backed by the people. Washington is Wall Street. And Wall Street is Washington. Who's the Treasury head? Timothy Geithner. Where is he from? The New York Federal Reserve Bank. Who was the Treasury Secretary before him? Henry Paulson under Bush. Where was he from? Goldman Sachs. Only a child wouldn't see what's going on here. So you're saying that this is just a front, that this so-called bank tax is just a way for President Obama to look good among the American people who have been so angry about this. He's going to say one thing in front of our faces, and you think that he's going to do another behind closed doors? Well, they're doing it. They're not doing it behind closed doors. They're doing it right in front of the public, and they're not reporting the numbers. Look, they just bailed out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. It's now the number is $400 billion dollars. On Christmas Eve, they just passed legislation. They're going to give them unlimited money for the next three years. You go down the list, it's like this. They just gave GMAC another, what, $4 billion? No, this is just to quiet the people up to pretend that they're doing something. You call this a hearing? If you, anybody calls this a hearing, they're deaf. Well, Mr. Zalenta, you were calling this sort of before a lot of people saw it. Do you think there's any way that the extent that, that this happened could have been, pre you know, prevented or even that blow could have been softened a bit? Yes, they could have let them fail. They just made this whole thing up about too big to fail. We just heard Lloyd Blankfein from Goldman Sachs at the hearings babbling away about, oh, they made mistakes and they wish they hadn't. Goldman Sachs is nothing more than a big hedge fund, period, paragraph. If they went under, people don't have go to the ATM machine to get their money out of the Goldman Sachs bank. They don't have Goldman Sachs checks. We're just fronting for Wall Street, and all Wall Street is doing is gambling, and their risks are covered by the American taxpayer. That's what's going on. What the reason they need the best and the brightest out there for all this high executive compensation is because you have to get the best criminal minds that money could buy to come up with schemes like they do. Real quick, Mr. Salenti, what do you think about this? I've been seeing on the Internet there's sort of a campaign to get people to take their money out of the big banks, invest in the small banks. Is this going to be the answer that we need? Yes, because that's when America was at its greatest. When it wasn't about Wall Street, it was about Main Street. It wasn't about Walmarts. It was about the mom and pops in the community. It wasn't about factory farms. It was about the family farms. Everything in America has gone corporate. Look, the merger of state and corporate powers, according to Mussolini, who knew a thing or two about it, is called fascism. And fascism is coming to America. All right, Mr. Zalenti, on that note, we are going to let you go. But still, to